Hey everybody, this is Carl Sheffield. I'm a product manager with the user success and evangelism team here at Squid. And we're gonna cover in this video, uh, the model condition field from another model. This is a great way to make your pages dynamic, uh, to be able to surface data from one object and then get related data from another object. So we will start here in Squid Central and I'm going to hover my mouse over the compose area here and then go to all pages. And I'm going to find um, a page as a starting point that I made. So I'm going to find this one here and I'll go over. And what I'll do is um, quickly go to clone that page. Now I'm going to give it a name, really easy name like um, build. Oh, one. There, that should work. And I'll click Create Clone Page. Really, your page names should be unique and descriptive, just like model IDs. Uh, but in this exercise, they don't have to be so unique. Let's see what we have going on here in this page that we're starting from. We have um, one model in the list. And then in the canvas, we've got a table component that uses that model. Um, let's go take a look into the details of that model. So I've clicked on the model, and now I can see that that model has a condition, and it's a, it's a page URL parameter condition. So um, let's see what happens when we preview that. All right, I get to pick uh, an account. I'll find edge communication, and then I'll click OK and we'll be able to preview our page. So this is giving a detailed um, kind of look at one account record. So let's get back into the composer. And what I wanna do here is get a model and then surface data from that model. And the data in the model that I want is contact records that are related to the account. So let's go over to create a new model Let's see, I'm going to call this model contact list filtered. Um, and then I'm going to use the Salesforce object contact. I'm okay with taking the defaults with query on page load and then uh, max record of 20. That's great. I'm going to click save here. I'm going to move on to choose some fields. I'm going to pick account ID, and then I'm going to go down to um, contact ID, and we'll find email, and then first name, and then last name, and maybe there's a department in here. Let's get department. All right, now we've got some fields. Um, let's, um, let's use a squid shortcut to add a table component. So I'm going to just double click on the model and this brings up the create component pop-up. I'm going to select table from the choices and click create component. Now what that does is it adds a table component right there into the canvas. I'm going to give the title for this table component related contacts because that's what we're shooting for. Now, you'll see that when we double clicked and got the table component on the canvas, um, we have our fields that are uh, set in the table. Um, I wanna change that order a little bit. I wanna put the contact ID over here. And um, I don't need account ID right now, so I'm just gonna remove that. And I'll click save. And we'll preview this, but this is our final preview. I'm going to preview this. I'll have to pick an account and then I'll just go back to edge communications and we'll see what we can see. We've got the account record that's uh, pinpointed down to the uh, exact record from the page URL parameter. And you can see that up here. This is the uh, account ID parameter and it's got a value. This is the, uh, the ID value of edge communication in the database. But down in our related contacts list, we've got a lot more contacts listed than we want. We really want the only the contacts that are related 
to the account name Edge Communications or uh, any other one that we choose here. So what I want to do is uh, limit, I want to put a condition on my model for contacts to say, just give me the records that are um, uh, matching from another model. So let's go back into the composer and we'll add that condition to the contacts list filtered model. So I've gone to our model list and I've clicked on contact list filtered model and I've clicked on conditions. Let's click on the plus to add a condition. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the account ID field for this condition. So the account ID in the contacts um, object in Salesforce, for instance, what we want is to make sure that that is used. And I'm going to skip the operator for now. I'm going to go to value. And from the content property, I'm going to choose field from another model. Uh, from here, our properties pane changes a little bit. And what I'm going to be able to do is make sure that the source model is the account list filtered. That's what we want. And for the source field, I definitely want ID, but let's use the field picker to see what we could do. Now I could choose any field in the list from the account uh, list filtered model. I know that the account ID field is related. The ID field from account is related to the account ID field from contact. Now I want to make sure that the operator is set properly at this point. Now, what that says now is equal to, I'm going to change that to in. That way, more than one contact record may be displayed when the account list um, one record is displayed as well. Let's see how that works. I'll click save here. We'll click preview. I'm going to go back to my example for edge communications. And then we'll choose go here. And we'll see that now the model is filtered by a field from another model. The field ID that uh, is in the context table is, um, is behind the scenes looking for the relationship there. So that's field from another model. I'm going to jump back into the composer and I'll just say one thing about this to look out for. Make sure that the field that you want to join between the two models is in both. In this list, the field that we really wanted was the ID field for the account record. And down in the contacts list, it is not the ID here, but it's the account ID that's a related field to the account object. That's one thing to look out for. They both need to be in your page um, when it's rendered. All right, that's field from another model. Um, hope this was helpful. I appreciate you looking and uh, joining in on the Squid Basic series videos. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks. Bye bye.